If recent statistics hold true, before the end of this year, more than 1,600 Ohioans will commit suicide. It's sometimes called the permanent solution to a temporary problem. There is no turning back, and for the loved ones left behind, sometimes there are no answers. Denise Miney Graham knows that pain, and remarkably, she uses it to help others survive their grief. NBC4's Colleen Marshall has her story. So my son Dre took his life in 2012. Um, it was just a few months after he had graduated high school. And I found suicide grief to be um, unimaginable and traumatic and despairing and horrific. There aren't enough words to describe her gut-wrenching grief, and there will never be answers to the questions so many surviving family members ask themselves, beginning with why. What did I miss? Did, should I not have done this? Should I have said this? Should I have picked up on that sign? What about this? Why that? It's, it's very, very difficult, and there are no answers. There's nobody that can answer those questions. Finding no answers, Denise and her husband clutched their faith. Then, days after their only child ended his life, a woman from their church, who also lost a son to suicide, came to visit. She sat with me. She let me cry. She cried with me. She held my hand. And she answered hard questions that I couldn't ask anybody else, just another suicide loss survivor. And neither one of us knew it at the time, but seeds of hope were planted then. Hope that she would somehow find a way forward. One of the questions that I had for Judy was, how long, how long am I gonna be just completely paralyzed with grief? And I remember her answer, she said, two years. You're gonna notice a difference after two years. But near the end of that first year, Denise heard about a suicide survivors outreach program founded by Dr. Frank Campbell, who she met at a conference. The program is called LOSS. It's manned by volunteers who know the pain of suicide loss. I was like, well, that's what Judy was for me. I, and the pieces just came together and I thought, why in the world don't we have this in Columbus, Ohio? There are too many people that lose someone so dear to them to suicide. And the aftermath of such a traumatic loss is just horrific. And we got to work. So she founded a lost chapter to offer support to survivors in their darkest hours. They work directly with the Franklin County Coroner's Office with a lost team showing up to support family members even at the scene of a suicide. They have support groups, counseling services. Already the organization has helped more than 5,000 people. What do you think your son would think about what you've done in his honor? I, I like to think that he'd be proud. I like to think that he would see even some of his friends that um, have been supportive of this organization and have, have benefited from the support that we've been able to provide. I like to think that he'd be proud and grateful um, that we've been able to do that for people. Denise says there is no real timetable for healing. Numbness and shock can last for years. The support that the loss group provides can help restore faith and purpose. But grief lingers, and that's okay. At 10 and a half years, um, I still, I miss him. I still have times where I just need to sit and be still and cry and miss him um, and sit in that. And it's, it's something you learn how to integrate and joy in your life can return. Joy has returned for me. I have fun, I enjoy life, um, but it's not instead of the pain. It's not instead of the ache of my son not being here. I still miss him. Denise and her husband are now helping people in other states in the Midwest to set up their own chapters of the loss organization. And each remarkable woman is being considered for Nexstar's nationwide 2023 Woman of the Year. We will announce our local winner on March 28th. And you can read the stories of our 2023 finalists as well as our past remarkable women here in Central Ohio on our website. Visit NBC4i.com, hover over the Local for You tab, then click Remarkable Women.